and uh, in this video uh, i'm going to talk about uh, this motor driver now this is the l298n motor driver module now this now this motor driver is uh, used mostly by the beginners or should be used by the beginners for let's say making uh, a four wheel drive or a bluetooth controlled car using an arduino i am also going to use this motor driver uh, in my car uh, so to know more about this motor driver keep watching this video now before going uh, to this uh, motor driver module uh, let me give you small idea that why motor drivers are used now what happens is the output current of the arduino board uh, is very much less of about 40 milliamps and uh, that is not sufficient enough uh, to drive uh, these kind of motors now these are gear motors this one and this one this is the bio gear motor now a motor uh, is a uh, it is a inductive load and requires a high current so motor so we cannot directly uh, connect the motor to the arduino pins and uh, drive the motor that cannot happen uh, even even this uh, small toy motor requires of about 100 milliamps of current so even this uh, small current cannot be uh, connected to the arduino board so here comes the role of a motor driver which provides a high current uh, for our uh, gear motor or uh, other motors uh, to give a uh, sufficient power so guys now i'm going to tell you uh, tell you about the uh, motor driver uh, where you have to connect your motors and all so let's start now this this is your uh, heart of this module it is l298 and ic which actually drives the motors it comes with this heat sink for heat dissipation okay now let's come to the connectors uh, now here now you using this connector and this connector you can uh, connect your motors now to this module you can connect up to four motors what you have to do is uh, connect two of them parallelly here to this connector and two of them parallelly here so it can handle up to four uh, motors uh, you can use this these motors these are inexpensive ones so you can connect four of them uh, but you have to keep it in mind that this module uh, has an output current of 2 ampere now if you uh, connect a motor which consumes more than 2 amps then this module cannot handle it okay so uh, so let's talk about the voltage range you can give to this module uh, so you can give uh, from 5 volts to 35 volts uh, you can give 5 volts from 35 volts and one thing you have to make sure that if you are using uh, more than 12 volt supply then you have to remove this cap this small cap you can do it uh, by using a small plier if if you fail to remove this cap okay if you fail to remove this cap and you are using more than 12 volt your voltage regulator will get damaged okay now let's uh, look at this pins now these pins we have to uh, connect to the arduino so let's look at these pins now these pins you have to connect it uh, with jumper wires uh, with the arduino and uh, the arduino will uh, give the signals uh, as per your code so uh, the first excluding the first and the last one the first and the last one the remaining four which uh, the remaining four from input one to input four are used to uh, control the direction of the motors uh, using this four pins you can control the direction of the motors 
and let's say you have uh, you have to control uh, the speed of the motor as well then you have to use the first and the last pin uh, now now if you want to uh, let's say you if you want to control only the direction of the motors then what you have to do is uh, you have to you have to not remove the caps from the first and the last pin at present i'm not having uh, caps here i have removed it so if you want to uh, control only the direction of the motors you have to not remove the cap from the first and the last pin so now guys i am going to tell you about the concept of the edge bridge now in the video i told you that uh, you can control the direction of the motors using this motor driver but how this actually works how this mo module uh, controls the direction we will see now this is the edge bridge uh, now i will explain in a very simple way uh, so what we have to do is we have to pass current from the positive end to the ground and in between there are some switches which uh, we can close or open but actually these switches in the module are transistors and they are used as a switch and this in between is our motor uh, so let's say we have to go from positive to negative uh, so let's go from this path uh, let's let's close this okay so from this I came here and if I go here by if I go down by closing the switch it does not make any sense because the current is not flowing through the motor then how will it move so I will know I will not go down so from here I came here then I will go here now the current will pass through the motor and let's say I will close this switch and it will go to the ground so positive will come here and this negative will come here so let's say the motor is uh, rotating in a clockwise way so guys now we are done with clockwise and uh, let's see about anti-clockwise now we have used this path for clockwise so let's open the switches because we have to move the motor anti-clockwise okay so this this path we have completed now let's say now I go from here to here by closing the switch so the current flows from here to here and uh, similar to this one I will not go in the downward direction because the current will not flow through the motor so from here the current flows from here and it will go through the motor and uh, let's say we have to go till ground and we will for that we will close this switch so now this path gets completed here comes the positive and here comes the negative now in the previous path here there was positive and here there was negative so we said that let's take it as clockwise now in this case now the uh, this for this path here comes negative and here comes positive so let's say it is for anti-clockwise so in this way the direction of the motor can be controlled uh, now let's say let's take some other path or let's say uh, let's take some other probability uh, so let's say I close these two switches so in this case the motor will not move I mean that uh, let's close this switch and this switch and let this be open and let this be open so in this case the motor will obviously not work and this uh, let's say this is the condition for stop we have to stop the motor for that we will close this switch or for stopping we can do this also 
we can close this switch and this switch in this case also the motor will not work so it will be the condition for stop now this uh, is the concept of edge bridge uh, so